Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. We have quite the challenge today. So uh, this is my Sim, her name's Gia. She just moved into this tiny apartment in San Myshuno. You might notice though, no furniture. So we kind of need to do something because um, she's not really gonna be able to live without the basic cooking stuff, a bathroom and somewhere to sleep. Here's the thing though, I'm not gonna allow myself access to the build and buy catalog. So in order to furnish this house, G is going to have to work pretty hard. I'm thinking maybe we will head over to Evergreen Harbour, search some dumpsters and see if we can find some kind of, um, some old furniture from there. And you know what would be, actually, let me check the calendar, because it would be really handy if the flea market... Oh shit, hang on. Okay, I genuinely did not um, plan for this, but it looks like the flea market is currently on right now. <laughs> I swear I did not know that the uh, the flea market was going on. Okay, well that is really going to help. I was hoping that the flea market would occur at some point this week, but here we go. It's on right now. Let's go there right now. And then maybe after that, we'll check out some dumpsters and see if we can find some, um, some furniture from there. Oh, well that was a bit easier than I thought it was going to be. Also, apologies if you hear any background noise. It sounds like the gardeners are going fucking mental with the uh, leaf blowers. So if you hear a background humming noise, that's what it is. I tried to wait it out, but they've been going at it since this morning and it's now in the afternoon. So, well, I do, I mean, the flea market will be helpful for picking up some bits, but I doubt it's not going to sell like appliances, is it? So I can't really get that much. Oh shit though, sofa. Right, well, I'm just going to go mental and just buy a load of stuff because I haven't even bought any lights for this apartment. So I can get some lights here. One thing that is quite handy is because she hasn't bought anything and build and buy and because she lives in an apartment that's rent controlled, I do still have her family startup funds. Everyone else is kind of losing out though because um, I'm kind of buying everything before anyone gets the chance. Should I get a little pet? A little frog? We've got a little zebra frog here. A pink one and a red and orange zebra print one. Oh, he's looking right at me. Oh shit, he's looking at me. I can't really say no now that we've made eye contact. All right, I'll get the heart surfer frog and I will name him Darren. Darren, you have found yourself a home today. Okay, is there anything else I can buy here while I'm here? I mean, we got some vases. Oh no, these are lamps. <laughs> I mean, they're not really going to come in handy if I don't buy, if I don't find any, like, tables or anything. But I guess it's, it's good to stock up while I'm here because the flea market's not going to come around again, is it? So, I think I've got enough. I think I've got enough. So, I'm going to go dumpster dive now. And, um, I'm hoping that maybe the dumpsters will have some kind of old stove or an old toilet. Well, both would be ideal. Old stove, old toilet, and then we'll be gravy. Worst case scenario, I can just marry another sim <laughs> and take all their furniture. She does have the kleptomaniac trait, so... All right, Gia. It's a good thing you're not a very neat sim. Let's see if we can um, dive for some deals. Oh, hey, look. It's the sim we used who furnished her home with just craftable items. I'm glad to see you're keeping it up, Nadia. Good for you. Hey, fuck off. Oh, these fucking sims, man. This is by far the worst part of this pack. Sims coming up when you're trying to dive for some deals. Found an upgrade part. Okay, great. Go away. Go away. I found some green dye. Okay. I don't really plan on using the fabricator, though, so... Oh, the dumpster's empty already. Okay, well then, let's go home, because I'm guessing that means I can't really... If one dumpster's empty, then they're all going to be empty until tomorrow, aren't they? So, all right, let's see how far we got there. We still don't have anywhere to sleep, any means of making food or anywhere to take a shit. But, I mean, we made some progress and that's the main thing. So we got a couple mismatched sofas, a few chairs. I mean, we're not going to be short on, um, on sitting space. Maybe I'll put a lamp over there. Um... Could stick a lamp here as well, sure. And then probably I'll put a lamp in the bedroom. At least I can place this lamp on the floor so I can pop that in the bathroom. And 
a dining chair for whenever I get a means to um, make food. Then do I have anything in my inventory? Just some hair dye and Darren's in there as well, but I don't have anywhere to put Darren. Can I put him on the floor? Yeah, okay. Darren, that's your home for now, buddy. But don't worry, okay? Mum's gonna find, find us a better life. Well, I mean, I do have somewhere to sleep at least, so there's that. I mean, she does have the kleptomaniac trait. So I might see if she can maybe, like, visit one of her neighbours and see if she can steal anything. I think I'm going to give this, like, maybe a week limit. If I can't get a stove and toilet, I will give her until next Sunday and see how much we can furnish our house within a week without actually um, going into build and buy. So I'm, I don't know if this is this lady's house or whose house it is. But if I click, click on the stove... Okay, there's no option to swipe. Straight to the computer, of course, of course. Okay, she can attempt to swipe a lamp, but I can't swipe a TV, which is what I would prefer. I don't want to steal a lamp. I've got plenty of lamps. I want to steal a TV <laughs> or a toilet. All right, fine. We'll steal the lamp. Better than nothing, I guess. Oh, well done. Gia successfully swiped an object without drawing any attention. The item can be found in her household inventory. Sweet success. Well, I'm going to go check out the dumpsters. I'm pretty sure they only get filled up once every 24 hours, but let's put that to the test and see if we can check out the, the dumpsters anyway. Because you never know. I don't have anything better to do. It's not like I have any means to eat or take a shower. I guess when she starts to smell, we'll have to go to the gym. And when she needs food, I guess we'll... I don't know, go to a restaurant? No, it's still, still empty. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine, we'll go home. You have to run all the way across the street to get home. Okay, well, we may as well get some sleep. Let's go nap on our sofa until maybe the dumpsters get refreshed. Because I just can't think. Other than the flea market and the dumpsters, how else can I get free stuff? And aside from, like, stealing it and marrying a sim and trying to steal... Well, trying to get them to give me their things. What else can I do, really? Can't craft anything because I can't go into build and buy. Should we try the dumpsters again, now that you're well rested? Oh, she's pretty hungry. She can dive for some meals. Oh no, the dumpster is empty. Why? How's everyone else able to check it then, if it's so empty? Oh, hang on. Okay, dive for meals and then dive for deals. See if we can get some food. Okay, we found Huckleberry, so that's something. Fuck off. Fuck off, Tina Tinker. Fuck off, Meredith Roswell. Fuck off, Ted Roswell. Oh, I found a hip bar stool. I found a bike. Fuck off, kid. Go away. Oh, the trash is empty. Okay, well, we have some food. It's spoiled, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. And we didn't really find any, um, any deals except a new bike. I know you're not happy about this, but what do you want from me? You don't have a stove. At least you're not hungry anymore. Uh, so you kind of need to use the bathroom. So you can use the bathroom and then we'll head to the gym and see if we can use their shower. Maybe we can steal stuff from the gym. Movers and shakers, here we come. Okay, well here's a shower. Come and take a shower. She's feeling pretty sick from that gone off food. Well, I'm sorry, but this is the life I gave you. At least you're not in a genealogy challenge or... Another cruel challenge. This one's actually pretty nice. Okay, well, what do we do now? How can we find stuff for our home now? She can't steal anything because apparently she was caught swiping something. So she's not really going to be in the best mood to try and steal again. The dumpsters are all empty. Okay, she's no longer embarrassed. So maybe, maybe I will travel to someone's house and see if I can steal something. It's just annoying that I can't steal a toilet or a stove. Because that really would be would be best. Let's go to this house. This is a pretty big house. Might be something I can take. Knock on that door. Just your friendly neighbourhood swiper. Nothing to worry about here. Hmm. I can't really swipe much. I can swipe flowers. Oh, shit. I think she... She automatically tried to steal something. Stop automatically trying to steal something. I'm trying to be tactical for us. God damn it, you ruined it. You ruined it. You can't just sit and watch TV now. Home sweet home. 
quite depressing really, isn't it? To be honest, if I really thought about this, I could have moved her into Evergreen Harbour, voted on the community action plan, turned the community lot into a maker space, and I could have got her to make her furniture. But that's kind of against the, the whole point of this, I guess, because I already made a video where a sim crafted all their items. This is more about how much I can get away with without having to really craft much. I don't want to do just another version of the same video. I mean, I can use my my phone to buy things, but even then it's not really much unless there's like a stove on here. But I can buy um, fruit and vegetables, so that should help with like hunger and stuff. Just would be nice if I could buy a toilet. <laughs> I mean, on the bright side, I do have this um, this rather cute little bicycle now, so there's that. I could really do with like some more retail stores. I could do with like a a Home Depot, <laughs> really. <laughs> what about if I make friends with my neighbor? Because if I have a good enough relationship with him, then worst case scenario, I can invite him to move in with me, take some of his furnishings and then kick him out. I mean, that's still a legitimate way. It's not using build and buy, is it? We'll ask him about his taste in decor. That's very important. I need to know that. <laughs> Enthuse about Thrill of the Steel. <laughs> I think I'll keep that one to myself, actually. He dislikes the colour green. Well, that's good, because green wouldn't really go with my carpet, so that's ideal. Oh, look, it's one of the, um, one of the ladies from my religious cult. You still believe in me? I have an idea. What about if I take a selfie with this guy, and then that way that's something that I can furnish my house with? I can furnish it with selfies instead of artwork. Bungie. Cheese! Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Maybe one portrait, that's right. That's right, we want to mix it up. Maybe stick a couple filters on. Oh, that one is crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Artsy, almost. How about a little bit of, little bit of sepia? Oh, yeah. Black and white? Sure thing. Perfect. Okay, we've got some pictures, at least, that we can furnish our home with. And that should have made us pretty good friends with this guy. Oh, she's just walked away. Okay then, bye. <laughs> Why would you leave a pleasant conversation to go and sit in your sad apartment? Oh, he followed us in. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, I am going to hop into Build and Buy just to make these photos a bit bigger. Oh, and also I have these items that I forgot about. There we go. That's a nice big piece of art right there. I'm sure our new neighbour will not think it's creepy that we have furnished our walls with just pictures of us and him. I'm sure he'll think that's pretty normal. We're just really chill, playing it super chill. And then maybe, maybe I'll put one of these pictures in the bathroom as well, just so that there's a picture of us in every room of the house. And then I'll stick this here. I have no shortage of chairs and lamps. Chairs and lamps I have quite a wealth of. Um, but everything else, unfortunately, I'm severely lacking. But yes, please, take a seat in one of my many seating options. Oh, he's complaining about the state of my apartment. Don't be such a snob. <gasps> Ask to join household. I'll give it a couple of days before I resort to that. I want to see how much I can achieve without having to move someone in. You having a nice time? <laughs> What's happened to her teeth in this photo? Why has it made them look like they have missing teeth? She looks like Jack Sparrow. What's going on? Oh, she's getting pretty hungry. There's a good thing we live near some food stalls, isn't it? Oh, they're all closing. Oh, it's because it's the humour and hijinks. <gasps> I can go put that painting in my inventory, even though I didn't do it. It looks a bit shit, but someone might think that it's art. I wonder if I can put the easel in my inventory as well. Can I put the easel in my inventory? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, well. I can at least get some food. Oh, there's another painting here. Inventory. You enjoying that faux? Or is it a bit too spicy? Oh, she's thinking about her little buddy. Oh, he came along too. How cute. And it looks like he bought himself a new t-shirt. This started off as a furnishing challenge, and I think it's going to end up being a real love story between these two. Should we maybe try and take a bit of a flirty turn with this guy? Let's ask him if he's single. 
Oh, he's married to Yumi. Ah, oh, shit. Why would you marry a woman with the exact same hairstyle as you? Let's just stand and wait for this woman to finish painting. Oh, it's Felicity Spiff's bath. It's the sim I used for that um, scenario. Why didn't you finish your painting? <sighs> I could have taken that. I guess maybe she knew what I was trying to do. Oh, look, it's one of those human statues. You're not doing a very great job. Yeah, you just look like a knob, to be honest. Well, she kind of needs to use the bathroom anyway. There's nothing else I can take here, so let's just go back into our apartment. Oh, wait, but I don't actually have a toilet. Fuck's sake. Oh, damn. <laughs> I sent her home because she needed the bathroom, completely forgetting that we actually didn't have one. God damn it, does that mean I have to go on to another lot? Well, let's just go in the art centre then. Okay, we'll go and use the bathroom. Go through an entire loading screen just to use the bathroom. Can I, what happens if I open the fridge? Ah, oh, I was trying to be sneaky. I was going to open the fridge and take everything. Can I swipe any of this shit? Okay, well, you're pretty low on energy. So once you get finished on the throne, we'll, um, we'll go to bed. We'll go for a nice night's sleep on our sofa. Such a hard life. Okay, time for bed, and then when we wake up, maybe, just maybe, the dumpsters will be ready for another dive. I'm a bit disappointed, though, because I really haven't been getting much from the dumpsters. I mean, I did get the bike, which is quite nice, but I've had it before where I've dived for deals and I've actually got some actual useful furniture. Like, I'm sure I've got a fridge before, even. So I'm a bit disappointed by what I've been getting. Oh, one thing I have noticed is even though this was, like, burnt when I picked it up, I can replace it without going into build and buy. Nice. Not that I need any more chairs. Okay, energy's high enough. I think let's go check out some more dumpsters. See what we can find. Okay, let's go dive for some deals. Tell you what, Gia, you dive and I'll keep all the other sims away. Oh, it's the other sim again. Hey, Nadia. Maybe you can furnish me something nice. Oh, I got some money. Hey, guys, go away. Go away. Go away. I got ten simoleons. Six simoleons. I don't really want money, though. I'm fine in the money department. I want some furniture. <gasps> yes, I found a fridge. Okay, okay, that is some fantastic news. Now I just need a toilet or a sink or maybe both. She is filthy. She desperately needs a shower. I know you're filthy, but... That's neither here nor there. We found an electric upgrade part. I don't really give a shit about those. Try and find a bed in there. We found another fridge. We found two fridges. Okay. Fine. Fine. Oh, a nice, a nice plant. Oh, I've only just noticed you can actually see the trash go down. Another fridge. So I have three fridges and not one stove or a toilet or a bed. <laughs> Can you try and find something other than a fridge? I know I said we need a fridge, but you kind of went a bit too far there, really. Some money. Keep going, girl. Keep going. We found another bike. I think that might be the same bike that we already had. <gasps> Ooh, I found a desk. Okay, great, great. So that, that's at least a surface that I can put some of my many lamps. Some more dye. I mean, to be honest, the dye really does nothing for me. Some more dye. More dye. Find something other than dye, please. Try and find a variation, not like three fridges and lots of dye. Oh, did we? Oh, it's completely empty now. Okay. All right, well then let's find somewhere where we can get something to eat and take a shower. I mean, the gym is the only place I know definitely has a shower, so let's go there. Go and take a shower. I mean, there is a, oh, it's not, no way to get food. But I'm not too worried about food because I have a fridge, so I can eat at home now. So now I just have to leave my home for showering and toileting needs. Everything else is covered. You may as well take a shit while you're here. You're not going to get any other opportunities. Not unless you want to repurpose that plant pot you found. Okay, let's go home. Okay, home sweet home. All right, so in our inventory, we've got a load of dye that we're never going to use. We also have a, another bike, which is just excellent. I also have this painting here and this painting. And then in my household inventory, I've got all these fridges. Wait, let me move my bikes in order to make space for my 
my fridges. Here we go. Those are my three fridges right there. They look great. I'm thinking maybe if I space out my chairs a little bit. Um, let's see. I can pop my, my desk here. It looks like it's seen brighter days, but I know, I'm pretty sure if I click on that, I'll be able to replace it, so that's fine. Oh, and I got a big plant as well. Oh, I thought this was just going to be a shitty little one, but that turned out okay, didn't it? All right, Darren, I told you I'd find you somewhere cosy to live, and there you go. And then a little plant near Darren to keep him, a little lamp near Darren to keep him warm. In fact, I might put this little lamp near Darren too, so he's nice and toasty. There we go. And then this chair, well, I could put it there, couldn't I? Perfect. Yeah, it's all coming together now, isn't it? And you guys thought this wasn't going to work out. Well, look at this apartment now. Look at it now. Thriving, isn't it? <laughs> all right, she is super hungry, so why don't you just go and, oh, hire a repair service. Are they all broken? Yep. Yeah, they're all broken. Well, she can repair them herself, in fairness. I mean got some time to kill let's just grab something quick to eat yeah I mean we could we could maybe have a snack have a quick meal ham and cheese sandwich and then we will repair it <laughs> perfect well it looks like you get some free food in it so that you know that's a, a real success maybe let's see if we can repair all three why not we we don't have anything else to do and we need to kill some time before those dumpsters fill up again Enjoy your sandwich. Oh yeah, that's right, she doesn't have a trash can, so this place is going to get pretty grubby pretty quickly. But you know what? That's fine. We don't mind living in filth. And we even got an upgrade part, so fantastic. Handiness level two. Oh no. She just got electrocuted and she started a fight. Oh, what a resourceful chick. Well done. Well done. She's a bit dazed though from getting electrocuted. Should we try and repair it again? <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, let's be sensible about this. Go and get some sleep, and then we'll try it again once your dazed thing wears off. Because the last thing I would like for you to do is die. Not when we've come so far. Look at how thriving this apartment is. She's not happy because there's a bad odour. Yeah, of course, if life wasn't hard enough, there's also these apartment traits <laughs> where this one needs TLC. Okay, try not to get electrocuted this time. Okay, she actually fixed it. Well done. You may as well scavenge that for parts and then throw throw it away. Even though you don't really have anywhere to put that rubbish. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? <laughs> yeah, I thought you had little a little trash thing there. I thought I didn't imagine that. Now, what can you do for fun? She's hungry again. You just had a sandwich. I mean, you could use your phone to order a book and that might give you some fun. Why don't you read a game of groans? You'll love that. Oh, but she's tired again. All right, will you just get some sleep, my little princess? And then tomorrow we'll go dumpster diving again. I, I think the sofa's just really uncomfortable for her because she can't really get a full night's sleep. And she needs the toilet again. Okay, well then t we'll go to the community space because I'm pretty sure there are toilets there as well. So you can go and take a shit there and then go through the dumpster. Oh shit, there isn't a toilet around here. Why isn't there a toilet on the community lot? Okay, well, you're just going to have to piss yourself. You're going to get filthy diving for deals anyway. So, you know what? It is what it is. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. What do we find? Oh, a folding chair. Oh, just what we needed. More chairs. You really, you really have an eye for the things we need, Gia. Some red dye. You can fuck off. Busy. Some money. No. No, you do not get to use the dumpster. Go away. Go away. If I have to fucking kill you to get you out of the way, I will. I will MC command center your ass, you fucking sim. She's going to piss herself and then she's going to be mortified. Yeah, yeah, I figured that would happen. I mean, you're filthy anyway, so what What do you want from me? We'll go to the gym in a minute and we'll, we'll take a shower. I'm sorry. But maybe if you looked hard enough in there, you might find a toilet. Oh, we found a love seat. Another, another chair. Perfect. Another chair. Oh, you emptied the dumpster. Oh, and you really didn't get much there, did you? Oh dear. All right. Well, let's go to the gym and take a shower. We'll take a nice shower, and then you'll forget all about this. This bad day that you've been having. She's crying. 
She's crying in the shower. She's basically showering in her own tears. She's so pissed off with me. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I think this is going to take a little while. Um, because I do want to allow her a full week. And we can only dumpster dive once a day. So I think I'm going to do this over two videos. But again, kind of like the other one I did where I... Um, let's just go home. Kind of like the other one I did where I did it in two parts. But I didn't, like, delay it by a week. Um, I'm just going to post part two tomorrow. So you can get the next episode straight after this one tomorrow. But yeah, I'm starting to think this is going to take longer than I anticipated. But it will be worth it because our apartment will be beautiful. So on that note, I am going to end part one here. And part two will be up tomorrow. Um, I am just going to do this in two parts. It shouldn't take any more than two bits. So there we go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.